All right, so in um, problem 22, we have a cue ball that bounces off of a rail, and it's got an initial speed of 2 meters per second at an angle of 30 degrees from the normal, I believe, to the rail. Let me look at the picture again real quick. Um, yeah, 30 degrees to the normal, and it reverses the y component velocity, but is not out to the accident. So what is the angle theta 2? So if theta 1 is 30, right, if that's 30, and the velocity components are um, exactly the same, except that, um, oh, let me redraw that. OK, so it's coming in at 30 degrees, right, x velocity y velocity and afterwards it comes off x velocity the same y velocity exactly reversed what does that mean that means this also has to be 30 degrees right so theta 2 is 30 degrees um, so let us let's look at that in terms of p initial is oh, make it a vector that p initial uh, is going to be okay so the x component um, now the angle that is 30 degrees right is up here that's 30 degrees so x in this case is not the cosine but is the sine so we got we've got 2 meters per second times the sine of 30 degrees I hat plus two meters per second times the cosine of 30 degrees J hat All right and um, let's calculate these real quick equals uh, well two times sine of radians of 30 that's going to be a one and two times cosine 2 times cosine of radians of 30. Oh, point. Okay. So 1 i hat and 1.73 j hat. Equals 1 meter per second i hat plus 1.73 meters per second j hat. All right? Now, p final, p vec final is all right they tell us that x stays the same and the y simply reverses oh you know what i shouldn't be writing this as momentum unless i'm going to stick in the mass all right so i have to stick in the 0 0.165 kilograms everywhere 0 point, 0 point 0.165 kilograms. Okay. So, instead of being 1, that's 0 0.165 kilograms meters per second. And 0 0.165 times that is two, 0 0.286. So, 0 0.286 kilograms meters per second. 0.286. Okay. So they tell us all that happens is the y component reverses direction. All right? And so if we're going to look at what is this angle, 0.286, all right. And that tells us that y is minus 0.286. Okay, um, y is minus 0.286, x is 1.65. Uh, I don't know what's happened to my drawing tool. We'll sort that out later. Um, and so this angle, this angle right here, right, that angle has to be um, 
with x here, all right? To find that angle, we do the inverse tangent of the x component divided by the y component. So let's go do that real quick, all right? That angle, a tan of o point x component o point one six five divided by o minus o point two eight six, right? And now we get the degrees of that. So 30 degrees, right? So the angle, we got confirm, confirmation through the math that the angle is 30 degrees. Um, B, what is the change of cuboles linear momentum and unit vector notation? So part B, what is, basically they're asking what is delta P, right? And that's just final minus P initial, right? So final minus initial. Um, the x components cancel out and on the final minus initial we get minus 0.286 oh, I forgot my kilograms up there 0.286 oh, point, oh, point kilograms meters per second minus 0.286 oh, kilograms meters per second kilograms meters per second all of that in the j hat direction right so twice 0 0.286 2 times 0 0.286 0.572 so we've got minus 0 0.0.572 kilograms meters per second j hat is the change in momentum and that's it for problem 22